Hi, I'm Holly and I'm a Lush addict. I started using Lush cosmetics a few years ago. I'm mostly obsessed with their bath bombs, but I'll use just about everything that they make. I love making videos and most of you have probably followed me here for my other video series. I've decided to post a video each week and review about seven items of Lush products in each video. Yeah, I know there's already a ton of Lush reviewers out there, but what they don't show you are really good demos. Not only will I be showing you beautiful bath bombs and action. I'll also be demonstrating their soaps, cleansers, and other amazing and unique products they have available. And because Christmas is right around the corner, I figured why not start with their holiday items. I don't really think their holiday bath bombs are that amazingly unique or bright and colorful, but they really do remind you of like winter time, so I think that's really nice. First off is Father Christmas. Everybody thinks he's kind of creepy looking, but I think it's cute and I love the pastel colors. It's pastel pink and green. You kind of expect him to be like red water, but it's really just a light pink in the beginning and then it goes green. He's a little bit of a letdown though because he's a very fast fizzer. It's really frothy, but once you touch it, it completely disappears. A lot of people also complain about the smell, but it's like an acquired smell. <laughs> it's unique, a little minty. I kind of like it. The second holiday bomb is called Yognog. I've never tried eggnog in my life, so I really don't know if that's what it's supposed to smell like, but it smells really good. It's like caramel and toffee, and I really enjoy it. It's also one of the longest slowing fizzing bath bombs ever. I filmed it for about nine and a half minutes, and it still was not done. What's cool about this bath bomb is that it has a bath melt in the center of it, so a bath melt is it's like butter in your bathtub. It was really cool, it looked like an egg. You have to be careful with this one though. If you sit still the entire time, which most people don't, but if you sit still, you'll get a ring around the tub and also a ring around yourself from the bath melt. This one was very weird though. I expected it to be gold because the description says clouds of gold and it was not gold. It turned like Nickelodeon slime green. It was like acid, an acid green. That's not eggnog. But it was a very moisturizing bath bomb and that's what I really enjoyed about it. The last bath bomb I will be showing you is So White. I expected this one to be extremely boring because it's called So White and the bomb is So White so I expected to just sit in a milky, boring bath bomb. It smells a lot like Granny Smith apple. It smelled really good. It was very uplifting and happy and it was very frothy too. It was really moisturizing. It was very pale pink water but it had like red chunks in it. I'm assuming they were trying to make it look like apple chunks. It did a lot of crazy spinning around the tub. It was actually kind of hard to record because it was moving around so much and it was actually the first bomb to sink on me. Lush bath bombs don't normally sink. They'll just spin around your tub and then finally dissolve. This one sank, which is fine. It was just weird. Next up is the Holly Go Lightly Bubble Bar. I've been getting this for the past couple years and I really like it. It doesn't really do much in the tub. The bubbles don't last very long, but I really enjoy the smell. It's a lot like cloves and cinnamon. Very spicy, but the smell doesn't linger very long. The good thing about this is it looks like you're gonna be covered in glitter for the next eight days, but the glitter doesn't stick and it doesn't really stick in the bathtub either. I actually prefer this bubble bar because the other bubble bars, I feel like I need to sit in there and sit there and sit there until every single bubble is gone. And with this one, I don't have to be in there that long. I do enjoy long baths, but sometimes I just wanna take a bubble bath and then get out. With this bar, you can get a ton of uses out of it too. It's so big, you just cut little chunks and you're good to go. Mint juleps, I love this stuff. It's a lip scrub, so you're just supposed to take a little bit of the scrub and put it all over your lips and you're supposed to get all the dead skin off and it's supposed to be really nice and it really works so well. I've always had lip scrubs growing up. I don't know why, I just I'm obsessed with scrubbing shit off my lips. <laughs> This is supposed to be like a mint chocolate, but you don't really taste the chocolate at all. It's definitely minty though, and I could do that all day long, every day. It's really messy though. There's no really good way of getting any mint juleps out of the little pod. 
it's so tiny and if you have nails it's just hard to get anything out of it if they made the pod a little bit wider it'd be a little bit easier like i said this goes a really long way so i'll probably have this for like three years and still go at it because you only need a little bit salt and peppermint bark scrub this stuff i actually really like it's really salty like super salty when they say salt and peppermint it's salty definitely salty and pepperminty you know, sometimes when they say it's a certain smell, you don't really get it. This is exactly what you think it is. So with this, you just scrub it on yourself in the shower or the bath and it gets away all the dead skin. You feel really fresh and clean afterwards. The only issue is that you need to dry it out. If you don't dry it out, it will turn to mush. And I didn't quite understand that the first time that I used it. I just used it and it was still intact in a square and the second time it started falling apart. It went everywhere. It was a mess. So dry this out. Sometimes it does sting a little bit. <laughs> if you have any like sensitive skin, that's probably not the best bar for you because it's very abrasive. Oh, and don't mind my hair in that video. <laughs> I've recorded all of these clips over the past few weeks, months, and I happen to be toning my hair at the time. The last item I have for this video is Needles and Pines Shower Jelly. If you've never tried a Lush Shower Jelly before, you need to go get one right now. You don't need to get every single smell that they have. This is like, if you don't really like it, then at least you tried it. This is one of those, at least you tried it. Obviously, it's supposed to be Needles and Pines. And if you smell it from a long distance away, yeah, it smells like Needles and Pines. But to me, it's more citrusy, kind of like grapefruit I think. It's very flexible yet sturdy. It smells really fresh and you get a lot of use out of it but if you are hairy or if you are trying to clean yourself in not very reachable areas it will start to fall apart and I've heard a lot of people put shower jellies in their poofs and that just does not work. You can't do that. The poof, it'll make everything fall apart and you'll have shower jelly chunks all over your shower. Does not work. So stick to it in the pod. So those are the items I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed my video. I will be doing them once a week, every week for the next couple of months because I have tons of stuff to show you. I'm actually really excited for next week's. I have all my favorite Lush items I'm gonna be showing off. See you guys then.